Hello, and welcome back to New and Old Survival. I'm Darren. I uh, mentioned the other day on Facebook that we were going to try to make salt from plants. So uh, this is what we're going to use. Uh, this is towards the late of the season, but this is Tussilago farfara. And uh, the name actually means cough, go far, far away. In the springtime when this plant comes up, a lot of people will think that it's dandelion but dandelion has a smooth stem and when uh, colt's foot or tussilago comes up it will actually have little leaves that are folded in next to the stem and um, but it'll still have that dandelion yellow looking flower so normally in the springtime i'll take that flower and i'll start off with some sugar in the bottom of a little jar then pack some flowers on top then a little more sugar than flowers you know and just layer it till i get all the way to the top and set that out in the sun, uh, sometimes it will take three or four days of good sunlight, but it will make a honey, and you can take that honey directly for coughs. But today, we're going to take this, and I'm just going to pick some, and first we're going to dry them out, and I'm just going to throw them in a pot on the stove, and we'll check back in from time to time and see how they look. After they're done drying out, we're going to set them on fire, and then we're going to sprinkle the ashes. Well, we'll just taste the ashes. It is supposed to make a decent salt substitute. Let's find out. Okay, we're back at the, the trusty car back, car trunk, something like that. Um, we're going to use something that you've seen before in previous videos. This is the old uh, Swedish military trangia. It's not a knockoff. It's a real thing, and um, and then we've got our silver fire stove, and this is a just a folding pan that we picked up at Walmart. That actually I th I thought I'd done tried it out, but I've not. So this will be its fresh, new. It's new, okay. And I just realized I forgot the the top to this, and I should have something to light the fire, but. I don't. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, uh, got the top of this, so it'll sit up here. Hopefully, like so. Put it on top. I got a lid. What I'm going to do is here's our leaves that we picked. I'm going to take these stems off. I don't recall having to leave them on. Those are already gone. So that'll kind of bake them for a little bit. And then after a little while, we'll check back in and see what they look like. So, let's get this in here. We'll spread them out. Maybe they'll heat up a little bit better. All right, right here. Love this lid. It has not failed me yet. And I believe it's still the original O-ring. Of course, I keep replacements. It's always good to have backups. Backups for backups. Backups for those. So she's lit. Top goes on. And pan goes on top. I don't know how this stove is going to react with a trangia, but we're going to find out. There should be enough heat though to do what I need to do. We'll check back in when they're looking a little better. Hold on. Well, I just pulled off the lid thinking they might be dried green, but I think they might be done. They are by Angel's uh, cooking schedules. I'm just kidding, baby. Uh, you know I love your cooking. But anyway, let's see what we can do with this. Maybe just crush them up and taste them. I'll get right back at you. BRB. All right, we've let these cool down a little bit. Or a whole lot. And I'm just going to crush them up and you might be thinking there's no way that I could put ashes on my food but actually um, depending on what kind of ash it is charcoal is extremely medicinal to remove toxins from your body and uh, mm, it's not bad it's a little light. Mm. Kind of has a burnt taste to it. 
Maybe I didn't prepare it right. And while I'm thinking about it, I really have to give a shout out to Mike at Mike Reed Outdoors. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel, be sure to do so and subscribe. He's got a ton of information. And when I was up in the mountains with him, it's been probably two weeks, three weeks, I don't remember. Um, he asked me if I had tried this for a salt substitute. I said, no, I've read about it. I know about it, but I've never tried it. And uh, so he actually is the one that inspired this video. So Mike, appreciate you letting me know or giving me the inspiration to do this video and to actually start this channel. Trying it again. Now for me, it tastes kind of like burnt paper. Maybe I'm not doing it at the right time of the year. Maybe it's the weather conditions. But I just figured out something pretty cool I could do with it. Mmm. Just put it in your mouth, smear it on your teeth, and smile. It's a Darren without, with new and old survival. I just about said Mike's Outdoor Channel again. Anyway, we'll catch you on the next video, and uh, we'll see what we can learn. Thanks for watching.